Filters and advanced filters have always been powerful tools within Excel, but the new filter function within Excel 365 is easily one of the most powerful and could be the most powerful function in Excel full stop. In this next tutorial, I'll be talking you through some basic filtering all the way through to the filter function. So use the chapters down below if you wanna to get to the area that most interests you. So the first thing we're gonna do is just select our data range. So if I can control shift and right and then control shift and down and then my shortcut key for my filters is control shift and L. Now if you haven't used uh, filters before they're a very useful tool that allows us to effectively just filter data in different columns filters on at the same time. So uh, just to give you an example if we wanted to filter on region and if we just wanted to look at the AJ region and then if we decided that we just wanted to look at say the small store size we'd be able to do that. If I go up to my data tab and then clear that, that brings us all back our data. Now what's particularly useful with filters is that when we want to filter uh, numerical values and I go in and I select my filter, if I go down to number filters, it gives us various options to select from. So we can decide if greater than, less than, and we can even decide top 10, etc. So if I select that, it'll just filter the top 10 stores based on profit value. A useful thing really with uh, basic filtering is if we have a data set and if you highlight various elements of it, we can also include that in the filter as well. So we can filter by color. through how the advanced filter uh, option works. Now, this is a really powerful feature that effectively lets us view what are the criteria that are being filtered. The easiest way to do it is, is just to show you. So what I've got is, I've got a similar table that I have in the previous example, um, but across to the right here, um, I've got two attributes I want to pull out separately. So I've got store size and then I've got profit. Store size, I want to filter on the medium stores and I want to filter for stores which have profit below $50,000. So what I do is if I go up to the data tab and then across to advanced filter, range is effectively the range that I want to filter. So if I select my table here, my criteria range is the data I have in the smaller table here that I'm using as my criteria to filter. And then for the action, I'm just gonna filter in place, which means it's just gonna filter this existing table here. So if I hit okay to that, you can see that uh, North America and Europe medium stores will profit below uh, $50,000. And to check that, if we hear that, you can see those two stores highlighted there, the correct answer. But if we wanted to add a third filter, so if I go across here, and copy my region, we wanted to add in Europe to again, just make sure that we're selecting the correct data. Criteria, which this time would include region, Europe, and these two other. Sure, this filter in list in place and hit OK. So this is a filter here, but you can see because it's filtered the data, it's effectively filtered our criteria as well, which um, is not too good if we're, if we're basically using that to understand what we've filtered here. But there's another way around that. So again, if we, this time, we want to copy to another location. And what we're going to do, we're just going to specify this cell down here and hit OK. And you can see it actually just pulls a subset of that data uh, across to the right here. So that's nice and neat. What about if we just wanted to know the store from Europe that was a medium size below $50,000 profit. And we just wanted to know, say, the store number and the store name. So there's a way around that, a really clever trick. So let's just go through that now. So if we wanted just the store number, store name, or advanced filter, again, just making sure we select the right data. So that's our table, our criteria, which remains the same, which is up here. We want to copy to another location, but this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these two headers here and then just hit okay. And you can see that it just returns the store number and the store name relating to this criteria. So a really cool trick. So building on the advanced filter feature, Microsoft have gone and released a new filter function, but it's only available in Office 365. So let's go in and see how it works. So if I enter in the formula 
filter, it's got three arguments. The first argument is the array. So where are we going to look up our data? So that's going to be the table here on the left. Then the next argument is what are we going to include? So what specifically are we going to filter and what's the criteria? So let's keep it simple. Let's just go into the region column, select that column, and we're going to equal that to a cell up here, which I have already a data validation. So I'm going to say, let's equal that to North America. Hit our comma. The next argument is an error handling. So if empty, what do we want to put in there? I'm just going to leave that blank for the moment. Close my brackets and hit return. And you can see what the formula does. I've only entered it in one uh, cell, so in K6 but it spills all possible results across a number, across a range of sales. And you can see also that actually the formatting for sales, profit and profit percentage is not quite right. So it doesn't actually pull across the formatting from the original table. So what's really useful uh, about this function as well is we can input a number of criteria. So we can filter for three, four, five different elements and we can do and or. So firstly, Let's uh, just do one of the AND uh, criteria. So where we want to include uh, two different elements. So over here, I'm going to include, let's say North America, let's say the medium uh, size stores. Again, if I enter in formula filter, again, we want to include all of our array. We hit a comma there. What do we want to include? Okay, so we want our region, that region, equals North America. Now for each of these arguments, what we need to do is we need to put them all in a separate brackets. So uh, for each argument that we want to put in and we need, if we want to add them and we want to and, we need to multiply them by each other. So I want North America and medium. So if I open up my brackets again, I want my store size column here. I want that equals to medium. I close that bracket. I close my first bracket on my filter function and I hit return and you can see it just brings back the North America stores with a medium size. Now let's say if we wanted uh, stores from North America or stores from medium so it's going to be a bigger data set what we do is we'd enter that in equals filter again our array is like what we've seen previously. Hit comma. What do we want to do? We want to include our region. We want that equals North America. Again, we need to put that argument in its own separate set of brackets. So add that in. But this time, instead of multiplying it, we're going to add the store size medium. Close that bracket. Close the brackets to close the filter function overall and hit return. We can see then it's basically returned us all stores that are either in North America or have a medium size. But if we didn't want to return the whole data set, maybe we just wanted the store number and the store size for North American stores with a medium store size. So let's see how we do that. So what we want to do is we want to just put these headings down separately down here. So we want store number and we want to turn in our filter function in here. So equals filter tab that we select our entire range. We want to include North America where it equals the input region. Again, we put that argument in its own set of brackets. Uh, I want both conditions met, so I'm going to multiply that. And we want store size equals medium. What was that set? Close. So it's spilling my whole data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it inside another filter function this time includes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up some curly brackets and i'm going to specify the columns i want so the columns are going to work from left to right and if i want to include the column i'm going to put a one if i don't want to include the column i'm going to put a zero so for region i don't want to include that so i'm going to put zero for store number i want to include that for store size, I don't want to include that. For store name, I want to include that. And then for the rest of the arguments for my sales, my profit and my profit percentage, I don't want to include that. So I close my curly brackets, close the bracket on my outside filter and hit return. And you can see then that gives us our store number, store name, uh, just for the criteria that we've asked for up above. 
I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.